Welcome back to Infigam, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having another very, very interesting question from Radical Maths. Here we have to evaluate cube root of 73 plus root 5 over 1 plus a square root 5. I will be sharing two different ways to proceed this question. So let me write here method 1. And let us begin with writing expression x. So x is always positive for real values. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So cube root and power 3 we can cancel. So x cube I can write it would be equal to 73 plus a square root 5 divided by root 5 plus 1. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I will multiply here with root 5 minus 1. So in the numerator also. Now numerator will give us 73 root 5 minus 73 plus 5 minus root 5 divided by a plus b times a minus b a square minus b square. So root 5 is square minus 1 is square. Now 73 root 5 minus 1 root 5 72 root 5 minus 68 over 5 minus 1. So I can write here 72 root 5 minus 68 over 4 and once I will divide by 4 I will get 18 root 5 minus 17. This is the value of x cube. Let me write here. 18 root 5 minus 17. This is x cube. Let us consider y cube which will be conjugate of x cube. 18 root 5 plus 17 for finding our x. Now I will take away second equation from first one. So I can write x cube minus y cube. This will be equal to minus 34. And if I will consider product x cube times y cube, we can write 18 root 5 minus 17 times 18 root 5 plus 17. a plus b times a minus b. So I can write 18 root 5 whole square minus 17 square. So this is 1620 and this value is 289 which will give us difference 1331 which is cube of 11. So I can write 11 cube LHS XY whole cube. Once I will consider cube root both sides I can conclude XY with 11. Now I will use x cube minus y cube equal to minus 34 and x y equal to 11. Let me write x cube minus y cube equal to minus 34 and x y equal to 11. a cube minus b cube formula. So I can write x minus y in other bracket x square plus y square plus xy and right hand side minus 34. Further I can write x minus y as it is. Here I can write x square plus y square as x minus y whole square and then I need to write plus 3xy equal to minus 34. Now xy is 11. So here I can apply x y 11. So x minus y x minus y whole square plus 3 times 11 33 equal to minus 34. Let us call x minus y equal to a. So our equation will become a times a square plus 33 equal to minus 34 or 
ए क्यूब प्लस थर्टी थ्री ए प्लस थर्टी फोर इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज वन क्यूबिक इक्वेशन आई विल सॉल्व यूजिंग फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड सो लेट मी राइट हेयर ए क्यूब प्लस थर्टी थ्री ए प्लस थर्टी फोर इक्वल टू जीरो आई कैन स्प्लिट थर्टी थ्री ए एज माइनस ए प्लस थर्टी फोर ए एंड देन वी हैव थर्टी फोर नाउ ए इज कॉमन सो ए स्क्वायर माइनस वन विल बी इन द ब्रैकेट थर्टी फोर इज कॉमन हेयर फ्रॉम लास्ट टू टर्म्स सो ए प्लस वन विल बी इन द ब्रैकेट now we can write a plus b times a minus b plus 34 times a plus 1 equal to 0 now a plus 1 a plus 1 overall common so i can write a plus 1 times a square minus a plus 34 equal to 0 so from here we can conclude either a plus 1 will be equal to 0 or a square minus a plus 34 will be equal to 0 so if i will check only discriminant for this quadratic equation then i can write b square minus 4ac value okay minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 34 which is 136 so this value is Negative one thirty five. So we will get complex solutions. So we will reject this quadratic equation. And from first equation, I can conclude a will be negative one. Now a was our substitution. A was x minus y. Equal to negative one, and x y was eleven. So from here we can write eleven over x, which we can apply here. Equal to negative one. Multiply both sides by x. So x square minus eleven equal to minus x. X square plus x minus eleven equal to zero. Let's apply quadratic formula. x will be equal to minus b minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so 1 square 1 minus 4ac so plus 44 divided by 2a so 2 so x will be equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 45 divided by 2 now with plus sign in between we can write value will be root 45 minus 1 over 2 with minus sign in between it would be minus root 45 minus 1 over 2 condition on x was x should be positive for real values so here we are having positive here we are having negative so we can reject second one so our final answer becomes x will be equal to square root 45 minus 1 over 2 now method number 2 method 2 is based on simon's favorite factoring trick let me write our x cube first so x cube was 18 root 5 minus 17 now i will factor 18 so i can write x cube will be equal to 6 times 3 root 5 minus 17 now 6 times 3 can be written as root 9 times root 5 minus 17 or i can write 6 root 45 minus 17 and left hand side it is x cube now i will multiply this equation by 8 so i can write 8x cube equal to 8 times 6 48 
root 45 and 17 times 8 136 now this can be written as 2x whole cube this side i will split 48 as 45 root 45 then i can write plus 3 root 45 45 plus 3 is 48 and then i will be splitting 136 as minus 135 minus 1 now can we write 45 root 5 as root 45 whole cube and if we can write here this value is minus 1 whole cube so a cube minus b cube then we can write here 3 a square b so i will write 3 a square b with negative sign as per formula plus 3 a b square so 3 a b square so 1 it is now you can see it is matching so this is nothing but root 45 minus 1 whole cube in the rhs left hand side we have 2x whole cube let's consider cube root both sides so we can write 2x will be equal to root 45 minus 1 Dividing both sides by 2, we will get our answer. x is equal to root 45 minus 1 over 2. This brings the end of the video, friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself and goodbye.